I'll start this episode by sharing some terrible news. Penguins are extinct. No, not that kind of penguin. Though, they are in peril too. I'm talking about the original penguin. On this episode of Animal Analysis, Penguinus impenis, the original penguin, also known as the Great Auk. Currently, there are no penguins in the Arctic. Not even false penguins like these. But that wasn't always the case. Prior to 1850, the original penguin inhabited the Arctic waters throughout the Arctic, with huge nesting colonies in locations around what is now Newfoundland in Canada, with smaller colonies throughout the Atlantic in places like Iceland, Greenland, and Scotland. As we know, in the 1400s, Europeans discovered North America, upsetting the balance and causing the extinction of many species, as human expansion generally does. These birds were large-bodied, flightless, and had a low reproduction rate, and nested in known colonies year after year. Humans had coexisted with this species in Northern Europe for centuries, but the rising population and global expansionism via seafaring vessels led to increased hunting of the species that ultimately led to its demise. The Great Auk was overexploited for its meat, fat, and eggs as a food source, and its feathers to stuff pillows and mattresses. Hunters would raid their breeding grounds to steal eggs and hunt adults, clubbing them to death with sticks or strangling them. By 1553, the population decline was recognized by Great Britain, and in 1794, killing of the species for its feathers was banned. On the other side of the Atlantic, the common eider, a species of sea duck, was originally hunted for its down, but by the 1770s, this species was almost driven to extinction. And they too had swapped to using penguin feathers instead. By the 1800s, the auk had become a rarity, and rich European collectors paid a lot of money for intact specimens and eggs. The last confirmed pair of great auks was found on LD Island near Iceland on July 3rd, 1844. The pair was incubating an egg when they were strangled to death by John Bradson Sigder Eolfsson, and their egg was smashed by the boot of Katil Ketilsson on request of a merchant who wanted skins. Talk about going down in history. The word penguin may come from penguin, which is Welsh for white head, or from the Latin penguis, meaning fat. When explorers discovered what you probably now know as a penguin, that is, members of the family Sphenicidae in the southern hemisphere, they recognized their similarity to the great auk, which they knew as a penguin, and named it after them. However, the similarities between the Great Auk and the Fensiscidae are a result of convergent evolution due to a similar lifestyle. Great Auks actually belong to the order Charadriforms, along with the plovers, sandpipers, gulls, terns, and other shorebirds, while southern hemisphere penguins are closer to the loons, albatrosses, and storks. Within the Charadriforms, they belong to the suborder Lauri, with the gulls and the terns. In Lari, they belonged to the family Alcidae, the ox, which form a clade with the skuas that is sister to the gulls and the terns. The great ox's closest living relative is the razorbill, which is Alca torda, which lives in the same region the great ox once inhabited. Though razorbills appear similar to penguins, both the original and southern kinds, they can fly and are small-bodied, roughly one-eighth the size of the Great Auk. The fossil record also shows at least one other extinct species belonging to the same genus as the Great Auk, known as Penguinus alfred Newtoni. This flightless auk was slightly larger than the original penguin, and inhabited only the western side of the Atlantic during the Pliocene. Great auks, like modern penguins, dove underwater using their wings as flippers to propel themselves through the cold Atlantic waters to catch small fish, their main prey. They nested in colonies, where a pair of great auks, 
like many modern penguins, lay a single egg on bare rock. The egg weighed roughly 327 grams, which is almost six times the mass of a large chicken egg. The original penguin, the great auk, is an incredibly interesting species. And it makes me sad to think we could have seen these amazing birds in person if it weren't for the greed of humans back in the day. Such a shame.